So the interesting thing about giraffe is we all know they love to eat from the acacias. If you come across a big acacia belt, um, you'll see that if there's a bit of wind, the giraffe will always feed into the wind. So if you have your belt, your acacia belt there, the wind's blowing that direction, the giraffe will feed into this direction, into the wind. It's quite interesting. Every single time if a giraffe feeds off a, off a tree, uh, it releases a tannin that will make the leaves very bitter. That's where I'll see a giraffe will never feed more than about 10 to 15 minutes off one tree before they start moving on. The interesting thing is when the tree starts releasing tannin and it, create, and it makes the leaves bitter, that tree will warn all the other acacias further down the belt that uh, there's a predator feeding off them and then basically they will then um, also go automatically bitter. So it's the trees are warning each other that there's a predator feeding on it. So that's the interesting thing. So the way that the giraffe managed to, to cope with that is now if the wind's blowing, because that tannin gets spread with the wind down to the other trees and that is what makes the other trees bitter. So the giraffes will now feed into the wind and therefore the trees higher up uh, upwind has not been warned by any uh, about any predators yet so therefore it's easy for the giraffe to feed into the wind up into the into the um, acacia belt so that's quite an interesting thing but everything's trying to survive so the trees are trying to survive the giraffe's trying to survive so everybody starts adapting to all the survival techniques so that they can still um, carry on feeding